Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Kickstarter Crap. Today I'm looking a little less like a gay retard, which is nice, you know, it's a good change of pace I think. Uh, you know, it comes and it goes, some days I'm frisky for the pussy and some days I'm horny for the uh, corn dog e. That's called Improv Gone Wrong. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Today's project is so fucking bad that it has a negative amount of backers and a negative amount of dollars funded so far. I don't know how this is fucking possible, that a project could be so bad that uh, they take money away from you and take backers away from you, but it seems to be the case, and uh, I gotta say, I'm a big fan of it. My first qualm with this project is in the name Self-Made Entrepreneurs. Now, that is the name of the project, that is also the name of the business behind the project. Now. I don't think it accurately represents uh, who this person is who made this project. The person who made this project is really into hip hop. Yo, bitch, a daddy, bitch, a daddy, bitch. I don't think it's all about just being self-made and all that shit, especially when you're asking for fifty thousand dollars from random strangers. I would hardly say that that is self-made. You know what I mean? Seems kind of bullshit. Maybe bullshit entrepreneurs? That might be a good title for your company. Also, he's really into hip-hop. Hip-hop and rap. So, I'm thinking, if you are into hip-hop and rap, don't have a very redundant title like self-made entrepreneurs. That's extremely redundant. Have the name of your company be something that you enjoy and like, like hip-hop entrepreneurs. Maybe, uh, thug money entrepreneurs. Maybe, Maybe ghetto blaster, I'm a papa capping your ass, yo bitch ass industries. As you guys know, I do a lot of research on my Kickstarter projects before I show them off to you, and that was definitely the case with self made entrepreneurs. I scrolled up and down the page, I, uh, I read some things, and uh, the number one thing that I read was uh, the name of the creator of the project, which is C. Quaffine. C. Quaffine, or Quaffine for short, also has an Instagram account. I looked into that. Uh, go to his Instagram account. He's got some videos. Got the hammer, maybe pussy niggas work. Um, you know, nothing to write home about, but it shows you that he has a passion for rapping about pussy, etc. Now, if you want to go deeper into the rabbit's hole, you can click on the YouTube link that's on his Instagram account, and that shall take you to his YouTube video, where he then proceeds to rap. For about eight minutes, uh, it's eight minute rap session. There's a there's a little bit of uh, you know pausing in between to do the chorus portion of it. All right, Quaffine, I've heard your beats, and I gotta say they're tired as fuck. And I've heard your lyrics, and they're stanky as fuck. So here's what I'm gonna do for you, Quaffine. I'm going to show you what true lyricism is all about. I'm going to drop some dope-ass bars for you and your dumbass crew. I'm going to use the same stupid beat that you guys have used, but it's going to be much better because it's going to be coming out of my mouth. The lyrics, that is. Mmm. You already know what it is. Mmm. Yeah. If you don't, Quaffine, you about to find out. Sticky bottom Buddha, sucky dicky monkey, lumpy muffin mama, saggy titty grandma, creepy mitten mummy, wriggly giggly weenie, shitty midi keyboard, muddy grindle goblin. Yeah, mmm, that's what lines is all about. Make you go out like sauerkraut. Gonna bury you, bury you in a grave. Make your mama turn into a slave. That wasn't what I was going for, you're black. Didn't mean that. I take it right back. Really sorry. Sorry about that, Quaffine. I know why they call you Quaffine now. You're not fully African. You're more like a decaffeinated African. Obviously, Quaffine isn't the most talented lyricist, but I gotta say that his writing is impeccable. To be self made is to be the unique you, the you were destined to be. We well, you know what he's saying, he's just, you know, can't write for shit, and can't spell check or any of that fucking shit. We believe in the true essence of hip-hop culture, captivating true lyricism, creativity, diversity, humble humbleness. Really? Humbleness? Got a couple bitches dropping low, just twerk, baby, bring back the dough, let them know who we are, baby. 
Oh, being humble, you know, talking about all the cars, money, and hoes that you have, that's, that's humble shit. Right, right, the hip-hop culture is full of a lot of humbleness, the most humble music genre that exists in our world today. They're like a, a like a bundle of humble, like a humble, like a, like a humble bundle, burgle, itty, bitty, titty. Sorry guys, I couldn't control myself. It's, uh, it's the rap in my blood that keeps me going. The Logo. Double fist, upside down pyramid. Well, I gotta say that their logo looks like shit, but I think that this is actually a pee good template for other small businesses who wanna make a logo but don't know where to start. Uh, what you do is you add two body parts. They don't necessarily have to be symmetric. Uh, in the case of iDubs Industries, you, you, you can make them chodes, you know what I mean? Uh, and then you add an arbitrary shape underneath. In their case, it was a pyramid. In my case, it might be uh, a rhombus, you know? iDubbbz Industries. Well, oh, what does your logo look like? Well, you know, double chodes and then a rhombus, an upside down rhombus. Our mission is to provide the highest quality in the entertainment industry pertaining to branding, clothing, visual arts, music, and more. Nah, I'm not buying that, Quaffine. I think you're more interested in being featured on World Star Hip Hop. You guys are wondering what this project is all about, and I really can't tell you what it's about. I can make some educated guesses. I would say that this guy just wants to get a lot of fucking money to pursue his shitty rap career, and you know what? I think that's probably right. That's probably what it is, because he has a lot of ambiguous language in here, like lifestyle, branding, and music. Like, who's music? Who's fucking branding? And what lifestyle are you fucking talking about? The hip-hop lifestyle? The humble lifestyle? Yeah, very fucking humble. So... You know, going through the whole thing, I, I could tell you with confidence that there is no specific goal. The, the 50000 is an arbitrary number that he's asking for, and he doesn't even know what he's spending his fucking money on. There's no money breakdown, what, what it's going to get spent on. He, he has an idea, he says, In his needs, he says, Recording and promotion, studio slash office, material, marketing, models, photo shoot, video advertisement, marketing team. So... You might be kind of confused. What, what is this project all about? What is, what is the end goal? Well, the end goal is for you to pay for his fucking hip-hop career. If you pledge $10, you can receive a Quaffine sticker. A $10 Quaffine sticker. Love it. Pledge $50 and you get a unique Quaffine t-shirt. Pledge $100 and you get a Quaffine sweater. A $100 Quaffine sweater. Pledge $1,000 or more, and you can be a part of a photo shoot with Quaffine. Also have a meal with the founder and the artist. Ask any questions you like. Oh, well, the number one question I'd ask is, what the fuck are you spending the money on, you dipshit? Why do you suck so bad at rapping, you dumbass? Why is your logo so shitty, Mr. Artist? And for $5,000, you can be the first to test out any new clothing or music my company or myself may put out. Oh, test any of the things they may put out. They may not put out anything. And you know what? You spent $5,000 fucking dollars for nothing. Wow, what a humble guy. He's charging you $5,000 to maybe get something of his? If you're lucky, if you're lucky, and you pay me $5,000... You might get to try on my shit. Humble. Humble, motherfucker. Alright, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of Kickstarter Crap, taking a look at Self-Made Entrepreneur. Jesus fucking Christ. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching, and remember to tune in next time when I rap about Ricola. This next project is made by some sort of autistic console peasant. And he wants to, I think, mod other people's Xboxes. I don't know. Uh, he has bad spelling, I can tell you that much. A lot of my clients are complaining that keep getting suspended, but the new one will fix that. XOXOXO Nick! <laughs> I think I have an extra XO, but you get the picture. He likes hugs and kisses. I could keep going all fucking day long. I'll smash you in the face with my G-thong. I'll give you a titty twister, bitch. And then I'll throw you into a big ditch filled with a bunch of dildos, you fucking asshole.